Hello everybody, uh, David Abel here, news at 13.07. We are dockside in Yokohama, uh, taking on supplies, but got a couple of uh, important updates for you in this latest live bulletin. So I, you may be able to see that I'm sitting facing the ocean in the bay. Uh, very, very cold out there, but sunshine is beautiful the warmth that's coming in is fantastic um, so yeah we're dockside taking on provisions and a little while ago we had the Coast Guard come alongside to take off 10 more passengers so this is 20 in all I think I reported this in the last bit but now we have 20 confirmed infected passengers with the coronavirus how does that leave all the rest of the passengers on the ship with regard to the quarantine? Well, we are in the second day of a 14-day quarantine. Whether this now extends that stay, we do not know. You know, we have not been told. Uh, what health checks have we had in the last three or four days or since the health check when the quarantine officers came on board? None whatsoever. There has been no health check so we do not know whether there are people on board still that have got uh, symptoms that may have the virus we just do not know so i am now getting just a fraction concerned about the health checks that i believe should be taking place because if there are more infected people on board they should be taken off. We want a virus-free ship. And what happens at the end of this quarantine period? I mean, there's no guarantee it's going to be 14 days now. It could be longer. But again, this is just a guess, but it could be longer. And what happens when we finally get back to the UK? Are we going to be put in quarantine uh, yet again for another 14 days? You know, these are questions I need answered. So I'm going to be contacting the UK government, the health officials, finding out as much as I can about how this will be affecting us back when we arrive back in the UK. Now, those passengers who are on the inside cabins, they're the ones that I've been expressing most concern for, because, you know, God, the inside cabins are really small. Um, they've got no window to look out of. There's no daylight, natural light. There's no fresh air. They can't take a walk down the corridor. They, it's strict confinement to cabin for all passengers. But the captain has announced that those people on the inside cabins uh, or who have got a window room but which doesn't open, um, they're going to be allowed access onto open deck for exercise and fresh air. M face masks are going to be provided for them so they will only be allowed on open deck wearing a face mask so that is a good thing you know i am really pleased that uh, the captain has been in contact with the japanese health authority and that decision has been made so that is something to be really grateful for that um, those passengers are going to see daylight first time in 48 hours, something like that, and they're going to breathe the fresh air. It's just a shame. It's going to be so damn cold for them. It really is a very cold breeze. Uh, I've been asked questions on the <laughs> Facebook, um, and I haven't answered them as yet. So here we go. Here's one of the questions. What about the cleaning of the rooms? Look, we're no longer on a cruise. You know, all of the luxury of having someone, a steward, come into the cabin, make the bed, put chocolates on the pillow, change the towels, face cloths, clean the bathroom. Those days are gone. It just ain't happening. So we have to take care of the cleanliness and the hygiene of our own room. And uh, we haven't been provided with any cleaning materials for the bathroom. Uh, we have not had a change of towels. Previously... We were having two sets of towels and face cloths a day. All right. I mean, it was superb, but it's just not happening anymore. We were having a change of sheets on the bed about every third day. That is not happening anymore. 
So we've had no change of towels, no change of sheets, uh, and no service provided to the room. Now this is not a complaint. You know, I totally get it and I totally understand. Princess, the cruise has ended and we are in a quarantine situation. It's brand new territory for the captain of this ship and the crew and the ship itself. Brand new territory for Princess. You know, I think this is probably the first time in their history where they've had a totally quarantined ship. So, um, Princess are really rising to the occasion superbly well. Uh, I, I can't imagine what it's been like for the captain and the crew. Um, yeah, I, cannot, I just cannot imagine the challenging situation that he himself is in right now. Um, but he's done a brilliant job. So, you know, congratulations. And I'm not, I'm not saying that uh, lightly, but congratulations to Princess for being able to organize so quickly. And some of it hasn't been as quick as me and other passengers wanted. You know, the first day in isolation, the uh, supply of food wasn't good. But my God, considering what they had to put up with, it's taken them 24 hours. Now it's superb. We had breakfast at 6.30. We had lunch provided at 12.30. And, uh, you know, we were able to choose what we wanted to eat. So I'm not complaining. We've only had one hot drink today, one hot drink yesterday. So that could be improved on, please. That could be improved on. But it's not the end of the world. We've got water to drink. And uh, that's what matters. Another question that came up, or an observation that came up, was regarding the air conditioning. You know, will this germ, this virus, be spreading through the aircon system? I've no idea. I haven't got a clue. And nothing has been mentioned uh, about the captain or from any crew member about that possibility. But I would imagine uh, the Japanese Health Authority plus Princess Cruise Lines have looked at that and as of now, the air conditioning is still operational. Now, the Facebook group that uh, I've organized for passengers to communicate with each other. I am sorry this has taken so long. Another news reporter, right. So I am sorry this has taken so long to uh, get up and running. But now I've got help. I've got a, a lovely passenger on the ship, Siobhan. And she is moderating the group for me because we've got lots of passengers wanting to join. But the trouble is we've also got journalists that are wanting to join. And this is not for the journalists. It is purely for the passengers uh, so that we can offer help, encouragement and support one another. And I literally have not had time to go through and check all those passengers or all the people that are waiting to join the group. So Siobhan has very kindly um, agreed to assist me on this so the process is starting and everybody I hope will have the opportunity of getting into this group within the next hour or so we are do doing our best to make it happen as quickly as possible and every passenger has got to agree to certain terms that no screenshots will be taken and supplied to the media um, I want the group to be private for the passengers and not for it to be shared on social media or to reporters. Uh, that's it. And <laughs> funny thing, <laughs> I'm laughing because I don't see myself as some of you have described. Uh, two words keep go coming up on certain Facebook posts. You know, guardian angel of princess. I mean, blooming heck, I am not a guardian angel. Oh. Please don't uh, stroke my ego. I am really not a guardian angel. I am just trying to bring uh, the experience that we are all going through on the ship to the awareness of the general public out there right across the world. And quite frankly, it has worked. It really has worked. Now there is a great awareness internationally of everything that is happening. And I think that is wonderful. Um, I don't think there is anything else really to share with you apart from one thing and this is going to make me really unpopular with some people. The number of reporters 
that are contacting me now on a daily basis. I mean, yesterday it was from morning right the way through to 11.30 last night. And it, it really is exhausting. I want to help uh, in every way I can to get the news across. But I think my videos can be seen by all the reporters and there is no need for me to keep talking to reporters and doing TV shows and radio shows. So with the exception of the English, that's the British reporters, I am not providing any more uh, TV feeds to the rest of the world. I am really, really sorry, but it's so time consuming and exhausting. So as of now, unless I have got an agreed uh, appointment fixed for today, and there are about three, I will honor those. But as from uh, tomorrow, I will not be talking to any more news stations unless they are based in the UK. Okay, so I hope you understand that. I need to get a bit of a life back. Uh, the last 24 hours or so, I've been inundated with reporters all the time, uh, having to put off eating a meal, you know, because they're coming through. And as we've been talking on here now, there's one reporter that knows it's live, he's watching what I'm doing, and he's trying to telephone me while I'm doing this. You know, that's not on. And I had to kick another reporter off Facebook yesterday. Uh, three times I had to rebroadcast with a TV company because they kept interrupting and they knew uh, what was happening. So my patience is not as good as it should be, and that's a decision that I've made. But as far as the general public are concerned, if you have got uh, passengers on board this ship and you're concerned about them, get in touch. Let them know that that Facebook group has commenced and we can help each other and support each other. And uh, we've got a great telephone system on the ship and we can phone from cabin to cabin and uh, those who are feeling a bit down in the dull rooms, we can talk to them whether it's in the morning, afternoon or evening, you know, we can talk to them and they can pick up a phone and talk to us. So there you go. I don't think I've got anything else to share with you. I hope your day, uh, wherever you are in the world, is going okay. If you're just getting out of bed and going off to work, uh, you know, have a brilliant day. Your day is going to be determined by how you approach it. If you've got a good outlook and you send out a desire from your heart may I make a difference to just one person in the world today anybody that I come into contact with let me make a difference in their life and you watch smiles will start to appear on people's faces and you really will be making a difference you'll become the guardian angels not me You'll be the guardian angels, okay? Let's get thousands of guardian angels out there who really do care about other people and want to make a difference. So thank you for all of your encouragement. Thank you for your positivity in uh, telling me that you're enjoying these little videos. I really do appreciate and acknowledge how fantastic you really are. You are bringing amazing support and encouragement to me and I know many many people are watching these little video blogs it's either going to drive them mad it's going to be like a marmite moment that's a i can't remember what they call it in america and australia but it's that brown stuff in a bottle you either love it or hate it and i think that's going to be the reaction with these videos you're either going to love them or hate them and if you love them that's great stay on board and i will keep you informed to the best of my ability so here's your challenge today get out there make a difference to somebody's life. Thank you for your uh, comments with regard to the wedding ideas. Some of them are really good. And one lady, <clears throat> I'm not gonna mention names, she's talking about, uh, oh, that place on the Greek island, Sorrenti, so, not Sorrento, where they have the horses walking up the cliffside. Oh, darn it, memory's gone. It's something like Sorrentino, but that's not the name. And she wants to get married up at the top there of the cliff where the white houses, the blue roofs. Uh, wow, you know, and what she wants in the ceremony. 
thank you for these ideas and so many more of you that have shared yours. It's going to be a brilliant wedding ceremony. Tell you that. So if you haven't replied to me yet, do so. You've still got time up until the 13th of February and on the 14th, I'm going to publish a dream wedding ceremony that whoa, wow your socks off. Okay, I've spoken enough. I'm waffling. So all the best. Talk to you later. Have a brilliant day. Go and make a difference, folks. Bye for now.